Yo, what's going on, folks? Man, it's your boy, Money Man, coming back to you again from Say It With Me. It's the set. And today, folks, we're going to talk about something that I think, okay, maybe it needs to be discussed. Actually, it does need to be discussed, right? What are we talking about, bro? We got the evolution of devices these days. And when I say evolution of these devices, I'm talking about we went from the small candy bar form of phones. Well, we went from flip phones and whatever else, pagers. I know I'm dating myself, but it's cool. We went from that to the candy bar design phones to the super phones that we have now now we got flip phones. Again, I'll be there a lot smarter than they were back then. We got foldables. We got tablets. We got super tablets. We got two in ones. We got all of those things when we talk about the evolution of design and technology, right? Um, but what I think is with this thing right here, this is the Apple iPad mini seven generation, right? Is there really still a need for this when we have things like this, which is a foldable, right? Let's dig into it, man, to see if this thing is really necessary in the tech that we have packaged today. You already know it, man. We ain't got nothing to it. Let's do it. So for the market of this thing, right? The Apple iPad mini. What are the use cases for this thing? Now I've been using it for, I don't know. I've had other iPad minis before. And what winds up happening is initially I use this thing. I do. But later on, I don't use it because most of those functions I could already do on my phone. Now I had larger devices, so I guess that was cool for me to do that. Also, when you have a laptop that is super powerful, super light, you tend to not really do that. So the market and the use case for the iPad mini has always been small, unless you're enterprise type thing, right? Where you have uses for this, where you put your company software app, whatever makes your business work on this device and you make it work. Now I would say that is it, is it for kids? Not necessarily because the price of the iPad mini brand new is kind of expensive. So when you have Amazon fire tablets that are made for kids, you got run the meal Android tablets that you can get for your kids. It kind of makes it hard to swallow when you say, well, pause makes it hard to stomach buying this for a toddler, right? But most people do, if they're in the Apple ecosystem, they can track apps, they can do whatever, they can manage downtime, whatever. The ecosystem is great when we talk about the iPad mini. My question is, is there really still a mass need for the iPad mini when we have foldables that are, I wouldn't say as powerful or more powerful than the iPad because truth be told, the processor inside of this thing is a fairly decent processor. We're talking about the same chip that they used in the Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max series. Now this chip was really nothing to sneeze at. Albeit with the limited capacity of the screen, yes, you have the ability to use your Apple Pencil on the iPad mini, which, okay. You can get the Samsung Galaxy Fold, Z Fold for a lot more money, but we're not necessarily talking about the cost, right? Because when you have a foldable, it's going to cost three times as much as this device. Well, maybe, yeah, about three times. The Pixel 
Pro Fold is about $1,800, right? The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold runs about, you can get it for about 16, 1700 bucks, right? And you got the One Pluses, the, uh, what else we got for foldables? We got a couple other foldables that are on the market in other countries, not necessarily here. But for us, the major players as far as foldables is the One Plus, yeah, OnePlus Fold, and you got the Google Pixel Pro 9 Fold, whatever you wanna call it, right? It's the Google Pixel Foldable, right? The second version. And then you have the Samsung Z Fold series. So, I know there is a cost disparity. I know that. And the Delta is massive when it comes to that. But my question again is, is it really necessary to have this, still being made when you can have something that you can actually make phone calls take you don't look like a clown when you're taking pictures with your foldable you kind of look like a clown with one of these the camera is not so great in these the camera is uh, okay the cameras aren't google pixel 9 pro or apple iPhone 16, 15 Pro quality. They are not that in the foldables. Now, will Apple change that when they finally come out with a foldable and act like it's the God's greatest gift to the tech community and the world? Who knows? But in this instance, I do believe that this purchase was a waste of money because I winded up getting this and I have not touched this since then. The Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold, nailed it. I freaking nailed it that time. It's actually a really good device for productivity. It's great. Minus the Apple ecosystem, which I am currently not all the way in. I got rid of my Macs. Uh, yeah, so I strictly have an iPad and an iPhone. So you say, yeah, you're kind of, denigrating yourself there you're limiting what you could do with the ipad no i'm not because this integrates better with my lap my windows laptop than the ipad does with the macbook yep so yeah i i swear this is not that video where we're just bashing on apple but for 500 dollars, this really doesn't serve a purpose in my bag it does not at all now i could have spent 700 dollars or maybe 690 whatever the 100 dollars extra 150 dollars extra to get the cellular version right i could have done that then you run the cost up even more and you cut into that delta of the difference between these two at that point because you don't have to buy the the newest foldable on the market. The Google Pixel Fold, well, the Google Pixel Fold, the first version, the Passport style one, actually is still a beast of a device. For all intents and purposes, the Microsoft Duo was probably the one who that had the most promise when it came to dethroning something like this because it's Microsoft and you have that built-in ecosystem with Android and Windows, right? but we move past that. We move past that. What we're talking about now is what we have in front of us and we have these two devices. And for me, I find it really hard to justify having one of these when I have this. Will I always keep a foldable in the rotation as my daily driver? Probably because when I need it, it's like this. When I don't need it, it's like this. It's a regular phone. So, and it can fit in my pocket. Now I've seen a couple videos out there with some YouTubers who are trying to stuff an iPad mini in their pocket. Yes, it'll fit in some pockets, but for the most part, you look like a clown, just like you do if you're at a function and you're out there with trying to take pictures with an iPad, bruh. Stop it, knock it off. I ain't trying to tell you what to do with your money. What I am trying to tell you is, eventually the delta between the two of these is going to shrink. And this 
is going to go away. It's going to happen. That happens in the evolution of technology and the iPad mini is going to be a sufferer of that. A lot of people don't really like this upgrade. You got a faster processor, you got double the memory, you got double the RAM, right? Same price. Cool. But Apple, seriously, with this display, like stop it, knock it off. Do you really need that on this device? If you're one who really has to have an iPad for their daily flow, then yes, you would have benefited from a ProMotion display on this device. You don't even have to give us 120. You could have gave us 90 Hertz in the refresh rate and that would have made a hell of a difference than what you have now because if you have an iPhone and you have a pro iPhone and you go from using, okay, maybe it's not a full 120, but you get the picture. From 120 down to 60, you can definitely tell the difference. I'm just saying, man, that's what we do here on the set. We shoot you straight. We ain't got time for all that bull-ish. I'm just saying, this was 100% waste of money when I had this. So, the truth be told, I had this first. I got this the day it released because I needed it for whatever purposes. I needed it for school. Cool, right? But the day after, I went and got this. Yes, you just like to spend money. No, I don't. There's reasons why I had to keep this phone and make it my daily driver. But we'll get into that later, possibly, in the review of this device. So, yeah. Just saying, man. That's all I have for you today, man. Please hit that like and subscribe button on your way out as we are trying to grow what we are doing here on the set. We trying to take it up there, man. We ain't trying to be one of the top YouTubers, but what we do is speak. Okay, let me not say my truth, because when people say my truth, they be fucking lying. That's why they put the my in front of that. I'm just here to tell you the truth on some of the tech that I like, some of the sneakers that I like, or don't like sometimes, because when you get them in hand, I'm rambling, whatever, bro. If you made it this far, hit that like and subscribe button so you can be a part of the set crew. I do appreciate each and every one of you. I'm gonna get on out of here and go do something important with the rest of my day. Probably go to Best Buy or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But you'll know what I get though, because I'm gonna give you another video and my reviews on it here on the set. I'm your boy, Money Matt. I'm going to quit rambling. Get my old ass on up out of here. Peace.